Hi guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome to week number two of the mindset training on the mindset of a beginner entrepreneur. And you know, last week we talked about being your own boss and what that meant and some of the things that we go through. And today we're gonna go over a topic that a lot of people will go through and, and we'll talk about is that they, they don't feel like doing it today. Hi Jody, if you're just popping on, please say hi and where you're coming in from. Let me know you can hear me loud and clear, either typing it into the chat box or with some hearts or something along those lines. Hi Trisha, what's up B? Great to see you guys on here, and if you are on the replay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for checking this out. And again, as always, if you hit that share button, drop your email address below, let me know that you've shared it, or inbox me your email address, and I will send you a free eight-page ebook on week number two of this content. Hi, Jill. So again, we're gonna talk about Something that the people in entrepreneurship always say. What's up, my doppelganger, Scott Aaron? And that's, I don't feel like doing it today. So for the people that are watching on here that are in entrepreneurship or own your own business, type Y or yes in the chat box. Hi, Linda. If you've ever felt like when you have woken up that day that you just don't feel like doing it, you just don't feel like it. So why or yes in the chat box, if you've woken up with that feeling or that in your head, I don't want to do this. So why or yes in the chat box. And the reason why I want you guys to obviously acknowledge that is because it's important for you guys to understand that you're not alone. And again, if at any point, if you are jumping on this live, please hit that share button. Let me know that you've shared it. I will send you a free ebook on this content. Hi, Maria, what's up, Aaron? So we're gonna wait another minute and I'm gonna get into this content. Let me know where you guys are coming in from, just so I know you guys can hear me. Why or yes in the chat box if you can hear me, but also if you've ever had those things going through your head of, I don't feel like doing this today, um, and also, just hit that share button. I, I, would, I would love to share this content with you guys. And for those that are on the replay, thank you again for joining. Hi, Milva. Hi, Jess. So, the three things, the three keys, the three ideas and methodologies that I wanted to go over with you today with that mindset of, I don't feel like doing this today, when you either you own your own business or you are in network marketing, direct sales. What's up, Chris? The number one key, number one, is marrying the monotony. Marry the monotony. And what I mean by that is that in the beginning, in the beginning, this is something that is, it's new, it's fresh, it's fun, it's exciting, and it can remain that way. If you feel that way inside of here and inside of here. Now, why it's important to marry the monotony is because there will be days where you don't feel like doing this. There will be dinners that you have to go to or family events or vacation or holidays. But when you can marry the monotony of what this is and you create a system for yourself of what needs to be done to quiet the noise, shut down the stories, and honestly enjoy the process. Because if not this, then what? One of my great mentors, Susan Sly, has, has told me. So if that resonates with you guys, please type Y or yes in the chat box if that all makes sense. And again, if you're just popping on, please hit that share button. Drop your email address below in the comments, or you can inbox me your email address, and I would love to send you a free copy of this content. So again, why or yes in the chat box. Brendan says, yes, sir. Because again, there's gonna be days where you don't feel like doing this. Plain and simple. 
But again, when you can marry the monotony, when you can understand that it's so important to do this every single day, and, and I, I, I say this to people in, in the sense of working out or eating healthy, you know, does it sometimes get tedious and a little bit monotonous working out every single day and eating healthy every day? Absolutely. But if you think about it, if there is a desired result for your body physically, then you are going to marry the monotony of what needs to be done. You're going to work out four to seven days a week. You are going to eat healthy and clean every single day. And for those that have shared, please drop your email addresses below so I can send you a free ebook on this content or inbox me. So if that makes sense to people, if that analogy makes sense, marrying the monotony, if you want to look good, you have to eat healthy every day. You have to work out consistently. Carrie, thank you as always for sharing. If that all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box because, you know, honestly, to get any result, you have to marry the monotony of that. If that makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, I want to hear from you guys. Have you guys ever had that story in your head where I don't feel like doing this? I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like eating healthy today. I just want to have a cheat meal or I want to take a day off, which you're entitled to. Linda says yes. Allison, how are you? Jeff, thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Because you guys have to understand, when you can, when you can wrap your, your mind and your arms and your whole self around all of that, and you marry the monotony, you get used to it, you understand that this is how you make it happen. It makes much more sense because if you marry the monotony, step two happens. Carrie says, get excited about the mundane. Figure out ways to make it fun again. Absolutely, my friend. Jody says, yes, good. So when you marry the monotony, and you make it fun again, as Carrie said, this happens. You create something called the compound effect. Now, if you haven't read this book by Darren Hardy, it's called The Compound Effect. And The Compound Effect states that small daily actions compounded over a lifetime will get you the result that you're looking for. So you don't just go to the gym one time and look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. You don't eat healthy for one day and lose 100 pounds. Thank you, Carrie. Me too. If that all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. Nothing happens overnight. It's the small, daily, consistent, compounded habits over time that will get you the results that you're looking for. This compound effect by Darren Hardy can be applied to any and all businesses, whether it's whether you're working for someone or working for yourself or you have a network marketing business, direct sales business, internet marketing business, whatever it is. Carrie says, yes, daily discipline. In order to get that wheel turning, you need to do those things to make the wheel turn. Linda says yes. So think about it. If you work out once, will you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger? The answer is no. If you eat healthy one day and you want to lose 100 pounds and you eat healthy just for one day, are you going to lose 100 pounds in one day? No. But compounded over time, eating healthy, getting plenty of sleep, working out, that starts to spin that wheel. So what do you think starts to happen over time compoundedly? You start getting the results. The same thing, the same principle, hi Chris, the same principle can be applied to your business. You can't work on your business one day. You can't reach out to people one day. You can't enroll just one person and have exponential growth in your business. It's compounded every single day. It's being on social media 
every single day. What's up, Aaron, my brother? Perfect example. I post very consistently on Facebook about what nutritional cleansing can do for you and your mindset. Hi, Angela. And here's the thing. My old roommate, my first roommate, reached out to me today and we've been we've been friends on facebook for years and i've been doing nutritional cleansing for four and a half years she reached out to me today so she goes you know what i'm finally ready to talk about what you're doing and we're speaking on saturday that is the compounded effect hi pd hi carrie that is the compounded effect if i would have stopped my consistency of posting transformations and talking about cellular cleansing and nutritional cleansing it would have never happened. Jeff says, I was thinking about getting some Chinese for lunch, but decided to go for a swim instead and then have a shake. Thanks for the push. Jeff, that is what I'm talking about, the compounded effect. Instead of Chinese food for lunch, what's Jeff going to do? He's going to go for a swim, and then he's going to have a shake to make sure that his body is fueled the right way. That is the compounded effect taking place right there where you all can see it. Now, if this all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. Y or yes in the chat box, and I'm gonna like that too, because actually I'm gonna love that, because that was awesome. Y or yes in the chat box, if that all makes sense, because you have to do the daily disciplines. Carrie says yes, Petey says yes. I had a friend of mine, my old roommate, she reached out to me after four and a half years. Four and a half years. That's right, Jeff. Flex it up, brother. Brendan says yes. Linda says yes. So if you stop, you can't expect the compounded effect to take place. So when you can marry the monotony and get used to just doing those daily dis disciplines, what's up, George? and you do those daily disciplines, the compounded effect will take place. Hi, Kathy. And guess what happens? You grow. You start to achieve things. You start to get pushed forward. Hi, Michelle, and again, if you're just jumping on, if you hit that share button, drop your email address below or inbox me your email address, and I have a nine-page ebook on this content so you guys can have it for life and always go back and review it. Free, just share this, share this live, either on the replay or live right now as Carrie did. And I will send you an ebook on this content. Thank you so much, guys. Kathy says yes, and you guys have to understand, it's all about piecing this all together. Now, this brings me to my third and final point of when you can marry the monotony, you create the compounded effect. Now, once you create that compounded effect, as starting your journey or continuing your journey in this, you need to do something that's gonna separate yourself from everyone else. And the question that is posed and asked to entrepreneurs all the time, Gary V talks about it all the time, is this what are you doing while everyone else is sleeping what are you doing while everyone else is sleeping Michelle welcome burrito what's up brother what are you doing while everyone else is sleeping if you are doing those things to be productive at the times of day where everybody else is, what is gonna actually separate you from everyone else? What's gonna be the deciding factor? What is going to make that difference in your business? Now, I get up super early. I get up between 5.30 and 6 every single morning. And there's days where I don't have to. But what you do in the time that people don't see is what happens in public 
from the responses and those things you do behind closed doors. Frank, what's up, brother? If this all makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box. And again, if you're just popping on, hit that share button, drop your email address below like Carrie has already done, and I will send you an ebook on this content. So you need to ask yourself that question. What are you doing? What are you doing every single day while everyone else is sleeping? Hi, Sharon. Petey says yes. Linda says yes. And there's nights where I stay up until 12 or 1. Not every night. Not every night. What's up, Daryl? Laredo says yes. I'll stay up till 12.30 or 1 o'clock planting seeds because I remind people the farmer who plants the most seeds will reap the most fruitful harvest. I'll say that again. The farmer who plants the most seeds will reap the most fruitful harvest. Hi, Annette. And again, oh, thank you, Kathy. Yeah, this is the, the, the winter growth, the winter growth. Thank you so much. Anik, how are you? So good to see you, my friend. Again, if you guys are just popping on, if you share this content, hit the share button, leave your email address below or inbox me your email address and I will send you a free ebook on this content. So guys, if this is making sense, doing those things when everyone is still sleeping, whether that means getting up earlier or going to bed later, does that make sense? If you do those things when everyone else is sleeping, you're waking up early and getting to work on yourself. You're going to bed later and planting more seeds. Do you guys feel that would make a difference in your business today and every day for that matter? Why or yes in the chat box, if that makes sense. If you feel, if you just got up an extra half hour earlier or if you went to bed just an hour later, that would make a difference in your business. Doing those things that everyone else should be doing but they're sleeping instead. And again, I'll say it one more time. The farmer that plants the most seeds will reap the most fruitful harvest. So, I wanna ask you guys, do you wanna reap a fruitful harvest? Type I do in the chat box if you wanna be that farmer to reap the most fruitful harvest. I do in the chat box if you wanna be that farmer that wants to reap that fruitful harvest because you all deserve it. You know, there's times where I want to hit that snooze button. There's times where I'm sitting at my computer and I'm exhausted. I just want to go to bed, but I know, I just know that I have to plant just a few more seeds because you don't know what will happen. I had someone reach back out to me yesterday and we're speaking on Friday. She reached out to me eight months ago. Eight months ago, PD says, I do. Linda says, I do. Annette says, I do. And that was really cute. Morgan, how are you? Michelle says, yes, she shared. Thank you so much. Hi, Dana. Guys, when you become the most fruitful farmer, not only are you bringing so many great things into your life, when you're planting more seeds, that means you're changing more lives. That means you're bettering this world one person at a time. And I hope you guys can feel my passion because this is something, you know, the work ethic that somebody has can always be taught. It can always be taught. Brendan says, I feel so much better about the day when I wake up early. That's exactly why. You know, there's, there's, so much benefits to getting up early so you have more to the day, more people to connect, more people to influence, more lives to change. That's what it's about. So type Y or yes in the chat box if you want to change more lives. Y or yes in the chat box if you want to change more lives. And again, if you're just popping on, hit that share button. I have an ebook ready for you guys that I will send to you later on this content. Share it. Leave your email address below or inbox me your email address. 
Annette says yes. Carrie says yes. Linda says yes. So guys, you have to understand, we have the power. We have the power to change people's lives. And if this is all making sense, if this is all coming together, let me see some hearts, some wow faces, some thumbs, just so I know you guys are resonating with this simple, simple theory. Marrying the monotony leads to the compounded effect. And if you wake up earlier, you get more to the day, you go to bed a little bit later, you stretch that day, you're able to do more. Thank you guys for all the hearts. Annette says sharing, thank you. Dwayne, what's up? Terry, what's up, brother? So you guys have to understand, again, one, you have to marry the monotony of this. Number two, that will create the compounded effect. And number three, ask yourself this question. Every morning your alarm goes off and you want to hit that snooze button. And you want to hit that snooze button. Ask yourself, what are you doing while everyone else is sleeping? If you're getting up early and you have an extra half hour to the day, if you have an extra hour to the day, if you're going to bed a little bit later, what do you think that's going to return? So again, if you just popped onto this, hit the share button, drop your email address below like Michelle did. That's a wake-up call. You're right, Annette. It's a wake-up call. The more that you have to the day, the more impact and influence you can have on your entire network. So if you are on the replay, guys, thank you. Leave your comments below as you watch this replay. Share this content. I want to give you guys this ebook because I provide all these ebooks every week because I want you to have the blueprints for building this foundation. And again, we're doing this over eight weeks. Last year was last week was being your own boss. This week is the mindset of not wanting to do it every day and why you should do it every day. Why you should do it every day. So guys, thank you again for joining. Love you all so much. Again, please like, comment below, leave me your email address, send me, send, share this content so other people can benefit from this. Thank you, PD, for sharing. Love you all so much. Next week is week number three of this training. We're doing it for eight weeks to get you guys on the right track. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you guys all soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you guys.